Micah and Sherry, good evening. It was a grand finale out here as fireworks lit up the night sky. Thousands of people, they were out here with their families enjoying the live entertainment. There were a lot of food vendors as well. But as you mentioned, also toasty, not just here, but all across Southern California. An all-Americana summer evening, complete with a fireworks bang to celebrate our nation's independence. We're here for Independence Day a day early, but uh, we want to enjoy the fireworks and have a good time here. The Asado family of Cyprus came to the 36th annual 3rd of July fireworks show at Los Alamitos Joint Forces Training Base. We're excited because we hear this is one of the best shows in town and we live right around the corner so it's kind of nice to come for the first time. Many families sported their red, white and blue for the occasion. It's fun. It's really cool seeing everybody and part of the community coming and gathering together for this. And you brought your hoodie out. Are you kind of cold? Yes, it's really cold. Some came better prepared than others, knowing the temperatures drop as the sun sets. But it was a scorcher earlier in the day as some inland areas reached the triple digits. Some headed to the coast to beat the heat. The, today is my daughter's birthday. Oh, well, happy birthday. She is 11 today, and she wanted to come to the beach, so we're here for her. Perfect. And to enjoy the weather, because honestly, it's been pretty hot. The excessive heat warnings causing fire officials to beef up staffing. The fire's hot, the sun's hot, the, the fuels are dried out because of the heat, so it makes it more challenging. It, it can create larger fire growth due to that. And then on top of that, what we have to deal with in the heat, just like everybody else does. A reminder to be fire ready whenever the temperatures rise and leave the fireworks to the professionals. I'd rather have the professionals do it because you never know. That's how a lot of fires are caused. and We don't need any more of that. And fire officials say that's the best thing, the safest thing to do is watch those fireworks from a safe distance. That's the latest here in Los Alamitos. Carlos Salcedo, KTLA 5 News.